So uh, right now I'm taking this very short little alternate. It's got a pretty nice but very distant view of the Tetons and also the winds, uh, which I'm now on my way out of. So yeah, check out this view of the Tetons. I don't know if it's gonna come out on the camera. It's pretty far away, but it's pretty cool. You can just make out their silhouette on the horizon. Just passed a pretty nice guy on a horse. Uh, said he works for a rancher around here. And he said he was glad to see my can of bear spray. He said, I'm really getting into grizzly country now and so I should just uh, keep an eye out. On our way to Yellowstone, should be a pretty easy going and fun section. I'm looking forward to hanging out in Old Faithful and seeing the geyser and they got a buffet there. As Mudslide has said, we're gonna put a hurtin' on the buffet. This looks a little bit like the Chinese wall that we'll see later on in the, I think, Bob Marshall Wilderness. After leaving the Wind River Range, the dramatic and mountainous terrain quickly gave way to gentle rolling hills. It would take a few days to get to Yellowstone, where the CDT takes hikers away from the usual crowds and offers a different perspective on the iconic park. So right now I'm at a pretty cool spot known as uh, the Parting of the Waters. Uh, these two creeks I'll show you in just a second. One of them flows. They both come from the same creek, North to Ocean Creek, and then they branch off and one of them goes to the Pacific Ocean and one of them goes to the Atlantic Ocean. Check it out. So here's North to Ocean Creek and here is the parting of the waters. That one goes to the Atlantic Ocean, 3,400 miles away. And then this one goes to the Pacific Ocean, something like 1,300 miles away. Pretty interesting spot. <sighs> Tastes like two oceans, except not really because it's not salty. That might just be stalling because there's a 2,000 foot climb coming up. I was at this point less than a day away from Yellowstone, and I found myself thinking back on the time I first visited the park as a tourist. That was a great trip, but I remember being so curious as to what lay beyond the popular destinations. So you can't tell from the video, but I'm standing in a hot stream, hoping that I don't break through this and fall into the earth and boil to death. Currently in Grant Village Campground in Yellowstone, and very excited to be paying ten dollars to camp at a noisy public campground with uneven hard ground. Awesome. <laughs>
cool. I'm really experiencing Yellowstone now, the thermal activity in a way that I did not the last time I was here. Last time I was here, I just went on the boardwalks with all the crowded people and then huddled around Old Faithful. This is cool. The trail takes you right by these thermal pools and the, the bubbling stuff. It smells horrible and it, it, you'll get a whiff of it right in the face, but it is really fascinating. Awesome section right now. Right here is the Lone Star Geyser. It's actually a lot cooler than Old Faithful because there's no people here. And if you go to see Old Faithful, there would be a crowd of like maybe hundreds of people. And we've got this all to ourselves. It's just a minor eruption right now, so we're gonna sit and wait and see if it gets any bigger. We got round two. Shooting up higher this time. 